that roller, the, these are the results it produces. Now, of course, when you the mix is the mix, so you can't control when sometimes you get, um, you know, some spots like that. So don't get crazy about it. That's the mix. You know, you can't control if it's not 100% like that. This was cut down, I don't know, 30, I think, 24s. I, I, quite, I don't remember quite now. But this is uh, like a sample pad for me. So what I did was I um, transitioned over here to now um, a lighter act, light, uh, this is not 50. It's, um, hmm, gotta look at my notes. But nevertheless, um, I just, well, the finished cream would be this. And then on the same pad as you move over, here's your exposed aggregate. Um, and then as you go up here, here's like a, a mag, if you will, with a um, heavy swirl in it. And um, so you can show on one pad uh, a few different things. Now these are your swirl marks, right? I mean, your, your cutting marks. But then down here, of course. So this is more my sample up here, and then here's the greater sample here. And then what I do is, I, I use my own um, locations, which is, which is mine. I have uh, quite a few properties. Um, and, and I try to show something, what I call um, isolation joints. Not control joints or anything else. But normally people just come off the corners like that. I'll do this extra cut sometimes if I don't want to take a, guess, a gamble on this thing going another direction. And here it is, this is, this is expansion. It's obviously not touching. Um, it's a clear half an inch. Nevertheless, this pad expanded within uh, 12 feet on a pad that's six inches thick. It still expanded um, to create this uh, relief here and here. Um, this, uh, these cuts are full depth. A little crowded now. Um, I did it near close to the end of the winter time. This has not been edged in, as obviously you can tell, but uh, you don't see me crying about it because I didn't, never got to that. Never got to that. So now this gets replaced still, all this walkway. I haven't figured out the final design yet, believe it or not, but it's a full cut. Instead of this corner, this radius, I divide it in the middle to make it look like two pieces of pie, if you will. Put it up to this point here. Not to a very point point, because that would make a pretty weak point. So that's why you see it's it's got a significant amount left and not to exact point. Um, so what do we have? So this is actually going to go into here also. I want to need for that location. So we, got, we got the full cuts. Um, it's done by hand, not by a machine. Um, there's a cat. This did have sealer added to it. I like that, don't you? Um, this did have sealer added to it. There we go. There's the cat. Let me shut up. There's three minutes in this video. And I guess I'll shut up after just showing you the exposed aggregate. What that roller can do is all I'm driving at. The roller does a great job of bringing these stones to an exposed aggregate level that is just outstanding. It's just outstanding. Um, you know, you try to find some things in there, some imperfections in there, and you'll be searching. You will, you will be searching. It's beautiful. There's no densifier on this. No densifier. I'm not a densifier person. I, I understand how it works, and I understand that it's a nice product to a degree. Um, but you got to remember, 1930s, those guys did everything, you know, with with some outstanding abilities. Uh, we've got new concretes and things like that now, and densifier is not playing their part in um in, in communicating enough with the concrete companies to um, evaluate their products. So, I like densifiers, I really do. They're just, uh, they're just, um, oh, I'm not going to commit to that on a video.